You're about to discover eight things that I think you really need to know if you're thinking of or planning going on a river cruise in Europe with AMA Waterways. Hi, I'm Gary Bembridge and this is another of my tips for travellers. AMA Waterways is a family owned company that was established in 2002 and still run by the families. It was set up by Rudy Schreider, Kristen Karst and Jimmy Murphy. Amber Waters is very much a luxury river cruise line operating in the more premium end and their ships and their service and the quality of what they offer is very highly rated. So for example, the Berlitz Cruising Guide, they ranked over 300 river cruise ships and their top 10 were all Amber Waterways ships. They do operate in the Mekong and also on the Chobe River in Africa, but around 20 of their ships are actually either in service or about to come into service in Europe and they cruise very extensively in Europe. So they operate on the Danube which is where about 80% of all river cruises take place. They're on the Rhine, they're on the Douro in Portugal, they're on the Maine, the Moselle, the Seine, the Rhone, Bordeaux, the Dutch waterways. But of course they're constantly adding more ships and more options. What I like to do is focus on what river cruise lines do that's different, unique, or they do better than other river cruise line companies to help you decide if this is really right for you. And I think there's probably six things that really struck me that our waterways do that are unique, different, or they do just much better. First of all, because they are a more luxury cruise line, they offer more space per passenger. So they have slightly less passengers on board their ships, which means the cabins can be a little bit bigger. And also very importantly, they have a, a higher crew to passenger ratio. So roughly about one crew member for every three passengers. The second thing they do, which they do talk a lot about, is their twin balcony cabins. Now, one of the challenges is when you go on a river cruise, you like having a balcony because there's such beautiful scenery. Of course, if you have a balcony, it reduces the size of cabins, which are already relatively small. So what they introduced is these twin balconies. So you have a French balcony, which means that you have all the space in the room, but you can open it and get the fresh air and the views, and then an actual balcony. So about 80% of the cabins on board Amma Waterways are these type of cabins. And I really like that solution to having both the space and also having access to the outside very easily. The third thing they do, which is pretty impressive, is their wellness program. Now, certainly they are the only, or certainly they were the first to have a dedicated wellness person on board. So they'll run programs from early morning stretches or yoga. They might have Zumba or line dancing classes. They might give some lectures. They might have more classes in the evening circuit training or other gym classes. They also have in pretty much every port, they'll have an active sort of hiking tour. They'll also have bicycle tours in all of the ports where it's possible to have one. Also because they carry bikes on board, you can also then just take one of the bikes and go off and explore on a bike by yourself. They have a walking track on the sun deck, so if you're even cruising, you can still keep active. They have a fitness room on board, and also they have healthy and more lighter dining options within the menu. Another thing they do, which I think they do very well, is they have a special dining restaurant, which is called The Chef's Table. It's a very special menu where the chefs are actually right in the restaurant cooking and you get explained what the dishes are and also there's wine paired for each of the courses. It's included within the fair and all you have to do is book because it's a relatively small cozy venue. Another thing they do which really appeals to me as a traveler is technology. So they have an app which you can download before and it has things like the daily program on. It also tracks the voyage so you can see where you are with various port guides. The one thing which is fantastic which I haven't seen on any other river cruise ship is their whole interactive system in the cabin. So this is an Apple iMac based system and on here you can do things obviously like watch television, you can stream videos, but also it has internet access. So you don't have to bring a laptop with you and you'll do things on here like the survey at the end of the cruise is all done on that system. Embracing technology was really great to see. The other thing they do is they are very innovative when it comes to pushing what's possible on board the river. So I've already spoken about some of the software things they do like wellness, but they, for example, have the Amma Magna. This is a ship which is double the width of other river cruise ships, which means they can have much more facilities, much more space, much more choice, which is very unusual on board river cruises because they are relatively constrained. It does mean that they're only able to use the ship on the Danube. So those are things that I think that they do that's unique different or better. Pretty much all of the European river cruise lines will talk about being all-inclusive. Every single cruise line has different definitions of what all-inclusive means. So let's take a look at what the AMA Waterways fare includes and excludes. First of all, 
obviously your accommodations included all of your dining is included so you have breakfast lunch and dinner which is all in the main dining room there are a number of alternatives i already mentioned the chef's table but if you want an early or a late riser breakfast that they do have some options up in the lounge there's also a light lunch served in the lounge there's tapas that you can order during the day and then in the afternoon around about four o'clock there's normally an afternoon tea service and then there's late night snacks now what about drinks so some drinks are included at lunch and dinner you have a range of wines beers soft drinks every evening they'll have a sip and sail cocktail hour where all the cocktails and other wines and spirits that they're all included they then have a 24-hour tea and coffee hot chocolate station internet access is included the entire wellness program is all included and of course excursions are included so you'll find that in every port there's an excursion so what's not included well obviously drinks outside of those times that i've already mentioned are not included gratuities are not included additional services like the laundry is also extra now in my view river cruising is still very much more of a baby boomers type of activity just because the nature of the places that river cruisers call on the sights you're seeing and sort of the other passengers so in my view Amal Waterways is perfect for that kind of baby boomer audience so an adult audience 50s 60s 70s and above that's really the heart of river cruising and I think of who Amal Waterways is really perfectly suited for now saying that when it comes to multi-generational travel and families Amal Waterways is encouraging or making it easier to bring families on board so for example on some of the newer ships they are doing things like having more interconnecting cabins they are in some of the bigger cabins there having a sofa bed so third person or kids can sleep within there very important it's also English speaking so all of the services all of the excursions everything on board is in English now one of the things that's very important for river cruising and I think this is also true of Amal Waterways is it's not really ideal for people with really limited mobility and particularly people in wheelchairs part of the reason for that is so the ships they will often dock next to each other so you have to go through various ships to get to the actual land side in some cases there can be very steep ramps to get on based on where you've docked once you get off you'll find often there's cobbled streets lots of steps so if you have limited mobility and certainly if you're in a wheelchair going river cruising can be very challenging now Amber waterways do try and make it easier for people with limited mobility so for example they have elevators in the ships and they do have some cabins which will cope much better with limited mobility approach with caution or certainly speak to Amber waterways or your agent if you do have limited mobility and check that you do have the right facilities and the right ship and the right itinerary if you're considering it in every single port that you call on there's going to be at least one excursion included within the fare and within these you're going to have a couple of options so there'll normally be a fairly traditional tour where you'll go and see the key sites and that will normally be split into a gentle walker and a regular walker option the other thing they will do is they will normally have some kind of active so either a hiking or a brisk walking option and then you will have a biking option also on some sailings they will also have a late riser option so excursions which will go a little bit later now every one of the tours is run by local tour guides now in some ports they will also offer special interest tours which do tend to have an extra charge what about the overall ambiance and the dress code on Amal Waterways? Well, first of all, let's talk about the dress code. It's pretty relaxed. So you'll find that most people during the day will wear jeans or just slacks, or obviously if it's nice and warm, they'll wear shorts. In the evenings, again, it's relatively casual. They do talk about sort of that country casual, smart casual kind of approach for dinner. You'll find there's quite a mix on most evenings for dinner. Some people might just wear jeans, polo shirt, or slacks. On the more formal nights, so for example, the captain's farewell party, people will tend to dress up a little bit smarter so the whole experience is a pretty relaxed experience overall so not lots of formality there's open seated dining so you can sit with whoever you want to very high level of service because of that high passenger to crew ratio so if you like a much more relaxed informal approach but some nice touches in terms of premium luxury it's a really good balance i think of those two things what sort of facilities can you expect on an Amal Waterways ship within Europe? So you'll have a sun deck, which will normally have lots of seating. They do have a swimming pool on board, which is a pretty decent size. The next level down, which is normally known as the violin deck, this is really the heart of the ship. So with the lounge, this is where people will meet for the, in the evenings for drinks. You'll have the sip and sell. You'll have all your briefings in here. There's evening entertainment. You'll have it here. 
gift shop here, you have your 24 hour coffee and tea making facilities, you have your reception. Back of the ship, you also have the chef's table. Now, depending on the ship, this is also where you might have the fitness center, the massage area and the hairdressers. Now on some of the ships that's been moved down to the lower level. On the cello deck is where you have the main dining room. Now what's very important with Amber Waterways is all of the ships have different decor so they all have a different look and feel so even though the structures are fairly similar, layouts are fairly similar, you'll find that the decor on all the ships is different. There is a range of accommodation on board. You do have some suites on board as I've already mentioned, 80% of the cabins are the twin balcony. These are the cabins which will always sell out fastest on board. There is another option which is on the cello deck, which is for cabins which are sort of more below the water level, which just have a window sort of much higher up. However, if you're going on an Amal Waterways cruise in Europe, I recommend if you possibly can get one of those balcony cabins because you are you have scenery all of the time around you and it's just a beautiful way of just enjoying the sights around you. Amal Waterways operates at the luxury end, the more premium end of river cruising. They have a product which I really liked. I mean, I really like the ships. I like the style. I like the feel of the ships. I really love the cabin, those twin balcony cabins. The food was excellent. The service was great. And I really was very impressed with the product. So if you're looking at going cruising or you're trying to decide which river cruise line you want to go around Europe, take a look at Amal Waterways. Hopefully you found that helpful and I'd love it if you watch many more of my Tips for Travelers videos because they're designed to help you make much more of your precious travel time and money on both land and at sea and of course on rivers. <music>